Hello, today I'm going to be showing you the latest version of the Valve module for the Camera Act 6. So here's the actual setup I have to photograph water droplets. And we'll come in over here. So this is the Camera Act 6 and to it uh, on the camera ports, camera is plugged into port number 1. Uh, flashes are plugged into ports 2 and 3. So over here on the module port side, we've got module port number one plugged into the valve module. And you can see that the valve module has ports for up to three different solenoids to control water droplets. I'm just using one of them right now. And the this module will have a case later on, but I haven't finished the case design for this yet. So here's the actual solenoid that has uh, a reservoir for greenish water right now. And there's the solenoid. So that makes um, a water droplet that hits the water and then the water droplet causes a little water spout and a second water droplet is generated which collides with that spout and creates really interesting liquid art. Here you can just see that uh, I've got my two flashes and camera set up to photograph it. And over here I'm using a laptop this time to connect instead of the phone I've been using in a bunch of the previous videos. Uh, let's go to home. So we've got camera flash settings. So for this one, I changed it to camera prefocus smart. So that'll let me view the image on the back of the camera while using prefocus. And I want to have a short shutter lag. So I want prefocus. So the prefocus smart is the right option here. Change the duration to 400 milliseconds and the trigger delay. Whoops, if you click on that, you'll see it sort of all listed in a little box there. Um, is set to, where'd my mouse go? Oh, it's set to three seconds. Okay, so we'll go back to home. Oh, whoops, I forgot to show. Um, the only changes I made on ports two and three is I changed the mode to flash. Okay, so now we can go back home. And we can go into projectile, or nope, valve menu. So here's all the different settings. There's a lot of things to go through here. Uh, basically, the way it's laid out is you've got your shutter lag, which is <clears throat> the shutter lag for your camera. You can set that to longer, uh, but this is sort of the minimum shutter lag that you have. So my camera supports, I think, about 70 milliseconds, and I just set it to 100 to be kind of safe. Uh, the flash delay is when the how long from triggering the camera until when the actual photo is taken. Uh, and then for each uh, drop, you have a delay and a size, and both of those are just in milliseconds. So zero is pretty common for um, the first delay because you want to have it happen instantly. And then the size of the first droplet being bigger kind of makes a bigger splash, which is why I have it set up that way. Um, and then droplet two delay and size and drop three. And then you have that for all four valves and that's all of the settings. Uh, but I'm going to actually show you. So the only value you'd have to be setting right now um, for the mode I'm going to be showing you uh, are the sizes. And, you know, I think the default right now are five. I might increase those a little bit. I'm not sure. But um, even if you go in with all default settings here, it would work. Because um, inside of photo mode, there's actually this um, auto calibrate mode. And when you hit that button, uh, you can see it just starts taking photos. What it's actually doing is it's changing the uh, delays 
And because the room, if, if you had a dim room, you'd be able to see this pretty decently, but because the room's pretty bright, the photos aren't coming out very well now, but um, in a, a dimly lit room, this works pretty well because uh, I have it set up with that ability to take your camera shutter lag into account. But anyways, when you see a spout that looks sort of like this, so when it reaches its maximum, then I'll hit the auto button again. And then it starts waiting until there's a nice collision and you go through a bunch of photos like this. And eventually you see a nice collision like that. And then you just click this auto button again. And then it'll save the settings that you've made. And from those, you can use these increase and decrease buttons to kind of fine tweak it. Um, to, to a value you like, but um, you'll, you'll then be able to sort of create these nice water droplets without having to think about, oh, what kind of delays do I need and stuff. It just kind of handles it automatically for you. So that's uh, a mode I've added to the software to make this as easy as possible. Hopefully all this um, helps explain what's uh, going on here with the valve module. Thanks for watching.